I, I think that the public, well I know that the public and myself included, really has no idea of the, the enormity of the health accord. They really don't. We sort of get com confined in our own lives and we don't look down the road and I believe QP as an organization along with the Canadian Health Coalition are, are, are doing an enormous thing by looking down the road and saying if this doesn't happen, this is what will happen. So you know, I have given kudos to QP um, for being involved in that because the average person in the community that I live in has no idea about the health accord and will have no idea until they walk into an emergency center and someone says that'll be $10. Because I'm a healthcare worker, uh, you know, the, the money that the court provides, the stable funding at 6% over 10 years, uh, stabilizes the healthcare system. And so that's very important to me and my employment and the, the patients I care for. So, uh, you know, that's, that's what it's all about for me. The accord means to me is that Canadians are serious about their health care. It's, it's a national identity for us um, and, and by having a strong health accord we can ensure that the provinces all react the same way. The level of care is if you if you get sick in Newfoundland or, or if you have to have long-term care in Newfoundland that you'll still receive the same care if you have those issues in BC or Alberta or Ontario, wherever you are regionally, we want the same level of care across the board. They're suffering enough now, they're going to suffer even more because if they go privatized, they don't get enough hours, they don't get enough care now publicly. If that has to go private, it's just what well, put them out on the sidewalk. They'll get more care from someone coming along the street to say hello to them because staff is not going to have time for that. La privatisation, c'est quelque chose qu'on ne doit pas avoir et qu'on doit défendre bec et ongle là-dessus là parce que. On sait un peu l'expérience américaine, on connaît un peu c'est quoi euh, aux États-Unis quand tu pas d'assurance euh, de santé. Euh, c'est beau, puis même quand tu as une assurance, tu vas aller te faire opérer pour le cœur. Euh, tu te fais opérer pour le cœur, on sait que ça coûte euh, 100 000 euh, S'il faut que tu y retournes pour des suivis, euh, puis ça coûte toujours beaucoup d'argent, la compagnie d'assurance éventuellement, elle dit « Monsieur, ben, vous n'êtes plus assurable, on ne peut pas vous assurer, vous n'êtes pas en bonne santé. » Les compagnies d'assurance assurent les gens qui sont en bonne santé et lorsqu'ils deviennent malades, ben, les coûts montent tellement haut qu'on n'est plus capable de les payer. Fait que les gens se ramassent à hypothéquer leur maison, perdre leur maison, puis euh, ils vont finir dans la rue, ce qu'on n'a pas au Canada et je crois que c'est quelque chose qu'il faut garder. Well, for me, um, I'd highlighted the fact that at least with the accord in place, it gives, it gives us some stability. Um, there are changes that, does, that do need to happen in the healthcare system, but as long as we keep the healthcare system public, it can be changed within a public system and run within a public system. But we need the accord to provide us that stability so we can get in and make those real changes to fight back and the argument that healthcare is not sustainable, that it is sustainable. We just need to have some stability in it right now so that we can improve it. The only thing I think that's important to say is that it sometimes can be the information can seem um, overwhelming as far as how do you even make a difference and it can be scary as far as the idea of losing some of these things for the future generations or you know for our parents to have um, you know long-term care and I just think that we just have to hang on to the hope and it's just about realizing that all these little steps that we do um, make a difference and so I, I just hanging on to that because I think sometimes it can be overwhelming and daunting to think of how to get through this but by being around so many people that believe that together if we take a piece of the puzzle you know we can complete it and I, I think um, I think that that's re rejuvenated me for going back home to my own province and to my own local.